So, how's it going? Hello everybody, welcome back to the walkthrough, all aboard indeed, because we're going to a new area-ish, so I'm going to cut until I get there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that demon chain's gonna gonna pass by by the time I get to that corner, so we should be okay. Oh yeah, plenty of leeway up there. All right, here we are. New tracks turning on to them right now. Oh man, it's another one of those arches. Look at that. So maybe, actually, I should get rid of this arrow now. I was gonna say, so maybe we should make a little mark of this arch. Uh, that was that has kind of a terrible edge there. Oh boy, I'm gonna spend three hours on this, aren't I? Oh jeez, do it in one stroke, BK Gam. One stroke. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Normally, if I was in like GIMP or something, I would zoom in so I would have much easier pen control. But well, don't really have that option here, do I? <laughs> Boblin, 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 nope, but bad, 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 nope, 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 okay. <laughs> we're good. We are good. And now, we're coming to, well, this building over here, but not, that's not exactly what I'm going to do first. Up ahead is the area that we can go to next, or can we? Uh-oh, head to Lincoln, the bridge is down! Can't make it over that broken bridge. No matter no, how are we supposed to get go to the, to the, get to the new room. <laughs> so yeah, if you crash into something, you only take one heart of damage. But if you, you hit a demon train, though, it blows you up. <laughs> Oops, no, I'm not not going in reverse. You know what? That's that, that's probably good enough. Yeah, my front is within, <laughs> within the barricades. <laughs> Ooh, it's the trading post. Who knew it was such a tiny station all the way out here? Well, we kind of did once he passed it. Why don't we see who lives in that house over there? Okay, but first, exploration! Because why not? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing there really. Eh, it's too bad. Too bad. You could cut the grass all day, but you aren't getting anywhere. Oh man. Just look at that bridge! It's a complete mess! How are we supposed to get to the other side with the bridge in this state? Maybe someone around here can fix it for us. Maybe. But I wouldn't count on it. You, you'll see what I mean when we get there. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be epic. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. 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 Yeah, I know I'm supposed to wake it. <laughs> la la. <clears throat> It's gonna give us a little hint at something here. It's gonna be like, oh, nice now. One thing's buried in the ground by the song of discovery. You know what, right? No. Well, if you don't know it yet, look where the Anukis are. That's the only hint I can give you. So, yeah, you. I'm pretty sure people have got it by now. I mean. It, it, it's right in the middle of the village. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do the sure dialogue this time. Oh, you know what? Alright, good, then get to work. Oh, what, what? Oh, man, that's far less interesting. So, this is also blocked. Ah, eh. Okay, so let's just go in the house. <laughs> that's, the, that's really our only lead here at this point. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh oh. Well, 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 what do we have here? Ah! I, 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 uh, what do you want, you rupeeless ragamuffin? This is no place for the likes of you. Shoo, shoo already, get out of here. Huh? What's that you say? Who am I? Tell me! Listen well, I remember the name, Squirts. It's Lineback the Third, President of Lineback Shading. So it's not the Lineback you might have been thinking of. <laughs> I hunt down the rarest antiques from around the world, and I sell them to the highest bidder. How's that for an introduction? I just blow you away? Eh, not really. Oh, is that so? Well, urchins like you prove that the youth of today are just clueless. I've got work to do and you're in my way. Go find someplace else to loaf. Okay. I, 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 I want to talk again. You again! State your business to get lost. 
Eh, nothing. Would you just get lost? I've got things to do here. <laughs> so we're basically supposed to compliment him until he helps. <laughs> well, well, you do make a good point there. I am pretty spectacular. <laughs> You know, I hadn't noticed before, but you possess a certain charm, Squirt. What are you doing here? You don't look like you've got treasures to sell. Hmm, you're trying to get to the Ocean Realm, but the bridge is out? Well, that's a sticky situation, isn't it? Fix it! <laughs> Sheesh, kid, what planet are you from? Do I look like I fix bridges? No way. But I agree that the bridge is a sad mess. The huge storms we had recently... I mean, the huge storms we had really did a number on it, not recently. I was going to call a bridge worker I know in the snow realm to fix this mess, but with the spirit tracks vanishing, I've got bigger fish to fry. See, I deal with merchants all over the world, and I can't get anywhere now. Wait, you're an engineer, aren't you? Oh, well, that's just perfect! Go fetch that bridge worker so we can get so we can both get on with our business! Sounds good? Uh, really? Think about it, Squirt! If we don't get that bridge fixed, you aren't getting near the ocean realm. We're both inconvenienced here, so this is the right thing, and help me out! Why are you just standing there? Hurry and bring that bridge worker back here! Okay, okay! <laughs> I don't have a choice there. Woohoo! I knew I liked you, Squirt! I'll wait here, so go fetch the bridge worker. Chop, chop, now! <laughs> How do we get roped into this? Go talk to the bridge worker who lives in the snow realm. Oh, if you give him a lift, watch how you drive. The guy gets ruffled easily. If things are too bumpy along the way, expect him to yell at you. A lot. <laughs> and that's that. That's going to be like the main tutorial on how to follow those signs along the, the tracks that I've talked to you about along the way on how to read them and stuff like that. But this is going to be for realsies. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's head on over to... Did she say let's go over to a new client? I think that's what she said. Hmm. I feel like I should stop there. Just just to hear that dialogue again. Hold on, one more time. One more time, Zelda, from the top. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't... I wanted to touch you, not... Yes, I would like to. And she's like, let's be on our way then. Okay, not not the new... Co Why do I think she said client at the end there? I don't know. He was my... I was playing tricks on me when I was trying to read that really quick on my overly quick jamming of the stylus into my tablet. <laughs> so, okay, we've got to go over to the snow realm once again. So, I'm just going to cut it. Come on, just pass. You guys trapped me and I had to take the side route. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, back at the Tower of Spirits here, uh, this is why it's got a, like a multi-way junction turnabout thingy here, because you can choose to go to which place you want to go. Yeah, you like those apples. <laughs> so, this is like the central place, so you don't have to go around like those edge routes to transition from one area to the other. It's just like basically another way to get to a place a little bit quicker. And now, um, I think I'm actually gonna go over here. Uh, I can't draw on the map because I forgot a rabbit. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go and go ahead and grab that while I am at it. And why do I still have a circle on here? That circle should be over here. Aha! This is where we need to stop to actually progress in the story, but rabbit time. And you know, I just realized it would really suck if the positions of things on the map would reset if you were to go through like forest transitions like that. It would be like trying to catch <laughs> the roaming three legendary beasts of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and well, I guess partially Crystal. Crystal's only got two roaming ones, but. Yeah, because like when you would transition between routes in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, they would move. And you could see that happen if you're tracking their positions in your Pokedex. Uh, but, it, you know, that's it's not a thing that actually happens here. Whoa, 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 what am I doing here? I, I had the right route drawn. Why did I decide to... <laughs> anyway, back to the rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, like, okay, I, I was kind of probably watching too much on the upper screen. Yeah, that's what influenced my idea to take this route. But I, I don't really have to do that now. <laughs> but the thing about it was back there, I, I wasted more time than I should have, and I would have been able to make that corner before 
that demon train would have had any chance of reaching that. So yeah, I think I just instinctively moved this, and I shouldn't have done that, but well, I- Oh shoot, that's- he's coming my way again, he's just doing a full loop. Anyway, the reason why I missed this rabbit before was because this on-screen stuff was here before, and yeah, I- 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 barely- I mean, you could barely see it on screen, and well... Well, oh, I got it, yeah, baby, woohoo! And well, the issue with that was, uh... It kind of blocked where that rabbit was, I didn't see the rabbit, and yeah. Oh, you're going, oh, you're taking that route, very nice, very nice. And I also like this particular randomized setup here, because there's one demon train that decided to go over here, there's one that ended up over there instead of two, flopping around this area like that. <laughs> that, that made things a little bit, a little bit too complicated getting rabbits, and also, just for the sake of clearing our mapper, yeah, because we don't need this anymore now that we got our uh, rabbits marked out and cleared of that area, so there we go. Oh, just as a few quick notes as I'm getting back over to the bridge maker over here. The demon trains will never appear on these like singular attachment routes. They'll only like go around the loopy ones such as this. They, they play it fair so that you can avoid them. <laughs> um, stuff like this so there's only like one loopy route, that's another thing that they won't really go across, because that's not really a uh, viable way to avoid them, you know, like go all the way around with them or something like that, that's not really, yeah, anything sort of practical, so in, in terms of the game design, they're like, no, no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let you go, we're gonna be nice to you and have a good time, <laughs> just give you a little trouble every so often just to keep things interesting. <laughs> Alright, Bridge Maker's Hut. Here we are. Now do not, and I repeat, don't do this when you've got him as your passenger. Do not break that suddenly. <laughs> just just telling you that to start with here. But yeah, I'm just gonna go run down over here and avoid all the enemies just to get there as quickly as possible for the sake of walkthrough speed. There we go. <laughs> How's it going? Got something to ask me, little guy? Nope. Well, I'm the bridge worker. No one builds them better than I do. If you need to, okay, it's the same dialogue from before. I thought he might have something different. And actually, he tells a story during the black screen transition. What? You want me to fix the bridge? All right, let me at it. I've got something to tell that line back anyhow. I'm ready to go right now, so I'll hit to the train and wait there for you. And he's out. <laughs> But despite that speed, he's already at the train. He's gone. Like, where is he on this route? He is nowhere to be found. He can run when he wants to, I tell you. <laughs> so now you're going to see this icon on the train. It indicates the passenger's delight with you, I guess you could say. He is our first passenger. He seems pretty demanding, so let's be careful. Ready to take him to the broken bridge? Wait. Why don't we look around a little? Okay, no new dialogue. Fine, fine, fine. I just figured. I figured. Okay, all aboard! Woo! So now I'm not gonna cut ahead because we've got ourselves a little tutorial to go through here. But first, well, I guess I, guess I could start off here. I was gonna say I'll cut over to the forest realm, but nah, there'll be a little bit of stuff. Like, uh, for instance, if you take damage from an enemy or something like that, the face will get more and more frowny until the passenger's like, ah, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you see this sign? If, if you don't blow your whistle here, he will be like, hey, you missed the whistle sign. You're dozing off. So, yeah, you gotta, gotta read those signs and know how to interpret them, I guess. It, so, in that case, you never really heard of any sort of thing that indicated that you needed to blow your whistle at that point, you just kind of did your own thing at that point, and then, he's, and then you know, no passenger would be like, ah, oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait that, that's a safety hazard. Because <laughs> the idea of said blowing whistle is to, like, alert other people that you're coming around, like, say, uh, blind turns, or uh, blind drops, ascents, stuff like that, you know. So, it's just the thing of that the passenger wants to feel safe, too. 
<laughs> Not that you really need to in regular gameplay, but it is something that you can do for fun besides, well, blowing it to scare off enemies and stuff like that, but I mean, like, you don't have to do it if you don't have a passenger. Now, here's another sign. I talked to you about these before. See, when there's a regular one-arrowed arrow, you slow down your speed, because I guess it's a lot more ricketier here. And then when the passenger is all super happy, it'll, this little gauge type thing here will go up. And you'll be like, yeah, you got the idea. And then pass the sign. You can put that back into gear. Because as you've seen, it was a double arrow, which matches that. Yeah, the only one that's not un, like not, not really all that intuitive is the, um, is the whistle blowing. But you'll get a tutorial for that automatically when, when you fail the blowing of the whistle, like, if you do not blow the whistle. Oh, are you seriously going straight at the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can't break that suddenly. Well, it's for your own safety, man. You were just yelling... Oh, you're actually gonna go... You're gonna go that way now, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine, fine, whatever. That works for me. But, yeah, you cannot break that suddenly while you are, uh... Um, well, you have a passenger because it's, it's too rickety and they'll, their bones will be like, oh, and then they'll crack and break, possibly if they have osteoporosis or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't I don't really think that'll happen as there's no passenger that has that, but they, they certainly complain a lot. Believe me. Believe me. So, yeah, you want to keep the passenger as happy as possible. And by happy as possible, I mean slow down your speed when you get to, get to these signs of going downhill. Because the passenger will get nauseated at it going way too fast. It's like a roller coaster. Then you'll be like, Ugh, need a bag! Cannot hold it in! And then if you don't have a bag for the passengers, they're just gonna have to stick their head out the window, and then it'll just mess up the tracks, and they'll mess up other people's roaming around these parts, it's just it, it's just a disaster, and they, they're like, they, they don't want that to happen, that's what really upsets them the most, and is what makes their, uh, their happiness level go down, although you can shoot the birds too, <laughs> and it's time to blow our whistle, alert the people on this blind hill, or, or the enemies, you know, <laughs> Bulblin, Bulbo, yep, yep, oh no, 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 you, you sneaky snake, you, bad, bad, <laughs> but it looks like we're going to be making it just fine, so let's get ourselves to a nice slow stop without any sort of breaking hard shenanigans, yeah, we did it, <laughs> Look at that, we're here. You sure know how to ride those rails, kid. He says that even if you have it at max or at me medium or anything like that. Alright, like that puts me in a working mood. I'm heading straight to the job sites. Alright. So, well, actually, before I talk to him first, I'm gonna go over to Lineback because this is different dialogue that people often miss. Hey, how's it going? I see you managed to fetch that bridge worker. Nice going there, Squirt. You go ahead and show him where the bridge is busted. I'll head out later. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's not leaving that area if he can help. <laughs> hmm, yep, this bridge got a number done on it. It's not beyond fixing, though. It'll take a while, so go kill some time and come back later. Oh, there he is. <laughs> ah, the bridge worker. How have you been, good man? Well, this won't be a good conversation. Line back! Well, I'll be. How have you been, you old treasure hound? Much better now that you're here. Do me a favor, work a little of your magic on this dilapidated bridge. Of course, of course. Just leave it to me. Shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> Assuming, of course, that you've got my repair fee on hand. You do, right? Also, still only for the work I did in your house. So along with the bridge... I'd say 5,000 rupees ought to cover that build nicely. <gasps> Five! Thousand! Surely you must be joking! Luckily for both of us, this young fellow has kindly agreed to foot the bill. He is the one who made- WHAT?! He's the one who managed to fix the- We wanted the bridge fixed in the first place, after all. All I did was send them your way, friend. Oh, is that so, little guy? Oh, no way! 
Well, I'm glad we cleared up that little bit of unsavory business. How do we get into rope? How do we get roped into this one now? Oh, and you best get that money ready, Squirt. No one likes a little dodger. <laughs> Ta-ta! <laughs> just like the first. Yeah, I don't really care who pays me. Just, just so long as I get my 5,000 rupees. I'll go fix that bridge. With that money, better be ready for me when I'm done. And so he begins. What kind of nonsense is this? 5,000 rupees? It's positively criminal! How can we expect to get a company with that kind of money? That's going to line back a piece of our minds. Yeah, I agree. Don't bother me right now. Can't you see I'm working here? Mm, I guess. But now he, you know, notice that he's on the tracks. So I'm going to show you something really quick. Uh huh. Uh huh. I would like to board the train. <laughs> So we're gonna go up to that bridge there. He's working on the track, so we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and ride the rails. <laughs> is he on is he working on the bridge though? Is he? It sure doesn't look like it. Hmm. And where the heck did that where did that where did those fences go anyway? Mysterious. Mysterious. <laughs> Okay, let's just go back over the line back and give him a piece of our minds. Just like Zelda said we should. Box screen transition! Okay. <laughs> what is it, Squirt? You look a bit worried. Is it because a little kid like you doesn't have 5,000 rupees to drop? Well, relax. I've got a great idea I'm willing to share with you. We can scrape that moolah together if you're willing to work. If you're willing to do a little work for me. Do what I say, I'll have 5,000 rupees before you know it. What do you say, Squirt? Down for some solid work? Nope. <laughs> Someone's not a team player. Guess I just have to fix this problem on your own, then. I was not the one that agreed to it. <laughs> sure, sure. Excellent. Now listen closely, as I only want to say this once. I've heard whispers about some high-value loot that was hidden here long ago. What loot, you ask? A gem of a treasure known as the Regal Ring. From what I can gather, the thing's got to be worth a cool 8,000 rupees. Easy. My grandfather left a letter detailing the ring's location shortly before his passing. I've read the clues he gave and looked all over, but I haven't hit pay dirt. This is where you come in. Let's say you find the ring for me and bring it back. Do that and we'll generate more than enough rupees to pay off your debt. Could be a sweet deal for all involved, are you in? And yeah, I'll pass. Hmm, <laughs> someone's on a TV player. Oh, really? It just see, it says the same dialogue? Sure, 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 sure. Whoa, really? All this all over? Holy poopers! I'm in. <laughs> Fantastic! Here's the letter Graham's left behind for your reference. Figure out the riddle, get your hands on the regal ring, and make us rich! Woo! Lightning Beck's letter! It seems to point the way to hidden treasure! Collection screen. The ring seems to be near Gramp Gramps' grave. You can get there through here. Read the letter and see if you can suss out where the thing is. Mm, Gramps for the very regal ring! You're going to find it and bring it back! Once I've got it, you can kiss that depth of yours goodbye! You're depth too, I guess. <laughs> So we got ourselves a new little quest going on here, and I think, uh, well, I'll, you know what I'll do just to, just for the sake of making things a little easier for the uh, walkthrough in the future, because it, it starts me at the last place that I entered or exited from, because I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I side quest it up. Well, not really. I guess it's main quest set up, but it's probably main quest plus some side quests I was thinking of doing. And also read this letter, too. That's 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 another thing I would like to do as well. <laughs> but I figured I'll save the letter for when the time comes of actually doing the little area of sorts, because it just it seems to make the most sense to me, if you ask me, because, well, well, it would be a part of that area. <laughs> <laughs> 